Hi guys, welcome to the webinar. All right, so it's Andres here. So now we are in the Zeman office. Uh, although we are opening up what we have to comply with the rules, as you see the mask here, and we have to uh, disinfect our, our hands still. <laughs> this is what we are doing every day. So uh, dear business friends, you are happily welcome now to follow our webinar. Uh, what will you see there? There are five sessions which we would like to present. Uh, the first machine, what you will see is the SPS, the scanning and plate sorting unit for the plate quality check and traceability of all these plates. Then we have a brand new device called the Plate Patroller, which is an HGV. It's a freely navigating point-to-point -point precision tool uh, which takes the plate uh, from the SPS, SPS and carries automatically to the SBA or to the manual workstation. The third session, what you see, is uh, the SR Compact, the small footprint of our uh, SBA assembler and welder. Then you will see the uh, uh, Terminator 760, which is our standalone welding cell. And of course, last not least, uh, you will see the SBA Conti Plus, which is our power horse, the biggest machine we do for the steel beam assembling. And one more thing, of course, the Synchro, which is a brand new add-on software, excellent to reduce, uh, uh, the, um, to increase the efficiency, reduce the timing in assembly and welding. Of course, uh, you can ask all the questions. We answer all the questions you might have. Come with me, enjoy the ride with uh, Zeman and see our brand new technologies. Hi folks, welcome again to the webinar. This time I show you the SPS, the scanning and plate sorting unit. You might ask the question, what is the purpose of this line? As the name says, it's scanning the part, it's sorting the part. So first of all, we are quality checking the parts in a sequence of approximately 15 seconds per plate. We put these plates on the conveyor, scan it and sort it to the bins. So quality check, is most important first of all. We really we are reading the dimension, the positions of the plate, the thickness, and simultaneously we are checking the shape, the result of our scanning with uh, 3D drawings, which we get from Tecla or SDS2 or Advanced Steel. The second part, as I said, is already the sorting. That means in accordance to your usual work schedule and to your preference, we can sort these plates to bins on double level, left or right, or on single level, on pellets. So we are stacking these plates onto the pellets, which is a totally brand new feature, what we developed over the last few weeks. And the last point is tracing. So we are tracing each and every plate so that no plate gets lost. You might see here, maybe this plate goes to the foldback box. That means this plate has not been scanned properly, Actually, it has been scanned properly, but it has not been assigned to the production phase, to the batches, to the production sequences or the major marks what you are doing. So tracing of the plates, very important. Some of our customers, they ask for an upgrade of the line, which goes into a tracing by RFID or GPS data. So that means you can trace all the parts moving around your overall factory. Let me tell you a little bit about the footprint of the line. So we have 16 meter in length, seven meter in width, but it could be smaller, could be bigger, just uh, up to you how many bins or pellets you will install. Finally, let, let me give you a, a short calculation model. Let's say your factory runs a capacity of 20,000 tons a year. Usually 10% of your uh, overall capacity is our add-on parts. And we know by experience that the average weight of uh, one plate is not more than five kilos. So you have 2,000 tons add-on parts divided by five kilos makes an overall number of plates of 400,000. And we can easily sort this with our SPS. And only 1% of these 400,000 plates are not matched properly and the quality does not fit we can read that at a very early stage on the SPS that this plate will not fit. And we can rework them, we can redo them. 
And if that happens at a later stage, let's say during the installation or during fitting and uh, welding, it costs a fortune. You can easily say per plate 100 euros. 4,000 plates multiplied by 100 euros brings you up to 400,000 euros, which is less than one year return on investment. That's a cool thing, I tell you. All right, but we have some questions. Some questions, thank you, all the guys asking these questions. There is uh, Morgan from Australia. Hey, mates, thanks for joining us. How many parts can be sorted per day and what is the maximum dimension of these plates? So we sort the 15 second one plate, which uh, gives us 4,000 parts a day in a three shift operation. So coming back to the calculation will mean 100 days, 400,000 plates. So it's a big capacity here on the SPS. Talking about dimensions, we can handle plates with a size of 800 mil by 600 mil, a maximum thickness of 70 mil, and the heaviest part is uh, 80 kilos we can work on the SPS. Of course, some of you might say, I have 250 kilo heavy plates. But honestly, if you have this plate, you just trip over, you stumble over, you find it. But the smaller plates, five, 10, seven kilos, you scan here and you assign them to the pellets on the, to the bins. Another question from Tiffany Georgia. Is it possible to sort by beam, production batch, sequence or lot? Yes. It's up to you, up to your preference, how you would like to sort that. You can even sort based on an Excel file or on Fabtro, up to you. Next question. Matthias, New Zealand, far away. We have two installations actually over there. Is it possible to search by part in the software to find its position? Yes, of course. We read uh, the software drawing, Tecla, Advanced Steel SDS2 and we know exactly what kind of place goes where. So that's the beauty of that machine, that all the parts are clearly assigned from the drawing to the bins and no plate is lost. Next question from Chuck, Illinois. What happens to parts that are out of tolerance? Good question. First of all, the operator here, like uh, Matthias, he will sort these parts manually with a bigger tolerance. And then he decides whether it's good to go for the manufacturing process to the SPA, to the steel beam assembler, or to the manual fitting and welding station. If it's really out of tolerance, then it goes to the full back box, what you have already seen. And at a later stage, the operator can decide what to do with these plates, whether use it or rework the plates. Maybe just a very brief glance on these beautiful pellets. You see the stacking here, the nesting, brand new feature. In the next session, we'll explain you the plate patrol. So hi folks, welcome again to uh, the next session of the webinar, which is our plate patroller. It's uh, actually an HGV, it's an autonomous guided vehicle and it does basically the work of a forklift. So uh, it's already traveling towards me. There is no wiring on the floor, it finds its way, it's freely navigating throughout the whole plant. It's a precision from point to point. Now it goes back underneath the pellets and it lifts up pellets with a load of 500 kilos as a standard, but even up to 1000 kilos. So it's a safe mover. It's very important for us to watch health and safety in our plants. And when he's ready to pick it up, he slowly moves out, lowers the pellet, and goes back to position. Ideally, it travels to the steel beam assembler, our fully automated steel beam assembling line, or it goes to the manual assembling and welding station, our plate patroller. Thank you very much. By the way, we got some questions. Thanks a lot to all these guys. There is Dennis from Idaho. Does the plate patroller need an enclosed area? No, it can work with all the people. It's a safe mover. There has to be a distance for full speed, which is two meter per second. Only one meter distance from one person to the other. When the person gets closer, stops automatically. Next question. 
Next question comes from Simon of Australia. So, hi, mates. What do we have here? The battery charging time. When the HTV, the plate patrol, is fully discharged, it needs approximately one hour. And when it's full charged, between 30 to 80 percent, he can work around four hours. It's a smart charger. It's like a lawn mowing machine. So it searches the plate for recharging and then it charges itself. Hope I can answer this question properly. Next one comes from Jasmine, Singapore. Does the plate patroller automatically drive into the charging station? Yes. Does it like a lawn mowing device, as I said before? There's Thailand. Beautiful. Somche, thank you for asking this question. How long does the battery last? As I said, full load and full speed, which is 500 kilo, goes up to 1000 kilo per pellet, and full speed of two meter per second, it lasts up to four hours. Next and final question. How wide must the travel path be that Sandu from Romania? So in order to use the maximum speed, which I said already, two meter per second, there is a maximum uh, space between of one meter. Everything less, the HTV, the plate patroller, will automatically reduce its speed. So that, these were the questions. Thank you very much again for your attention. Here this beauty in the back, you see the SR Compact. SR stands for single rail. So that means we have two robots moving on the same rail. This allows side loading of the beams. In comparison to all the standard system, other system what we have, this machine is designed to meet the requirements of smaller and medium sized fabricators. That means the footprint of the line approximately 9.6 meter, which is uh, 32 feet uh, in width, and the height is 4.5 meter, approximately 13 feet in height. The maximum width of the beam, which is 760 millimeter, allowed us to reduce the height of the welding tower down to 4.5 meter, which again uh, meets the requirements of smaller, medium-sized fabricators. So what are the features of these lines? It's an all-inclusive package. You will have the platform included. You can process angle profiles. So we stick them into a spring loading clamping station. We drag them, pull them out from the clamping station and we can take and weld them on. So the main focus of this line is for sure assembly and the weld out. You see now the big uh, robot, the welding robot moving on one rail, whereas the other is moving underneath the tunnel to pick up uh, uh, the add-on parts to hold it on, take welding and finish welding. As I said, all-inclusive, that means we can do a multi-pass layers from A4 to A15, which means 10 layers in one go, which is uh, excellent for such a machine. You will meet and have the best welding quality after these uh, A15, 10 layers. We have a full-size camera system included, what you see on top of here which is covering the whole processing and assembling area. What you see here is uh, we have already loaded the hollow section. We picked it up, the plate, hold it on, tack welding. And after the sequence of tacking is done, we start with the weld out project. We start with the weld out uh, procedure. So uh, for this webinar, we, uh, we got uh, some questions here and I would like to uh, to uh, tell you the question of Dimitri from Russia here. He asked the question, what are the advantages over the SBA Compact, which is the standard most popular line of Zeman? I can tell you it's, again, it's the smaller footprint, which we designed for smaller, medium-sized fabricators. And of course, it can be loaded by forklift and by cranes. So that means the forklift is approaching the machine and he puts the beam, the hollow section, C-channel, U-channel on these rotators. So that is the main advantage of this machine. We have almost no options. There are only three possibilities to choose from. You have 12 meter, 15 meter and 18 meter long beams. So we talk about 40 feet, 50 feet and 60 feet long beams. Another question from Lucas, Tennessee, United States. 
what are the disadvantages compared to your compact line? Of course, when we reach the highest cost efficiency and the smallest size, we have to sacrifice a little bit. Therefore, there is no in-feed, there is no unloading station possible on this line. We don't have a, a tapered beam processing and we don't have a plasma coping on this robot. So these might be the comparison, the differences, let's say the disadvantages to the standard SBA compact. Another question from Gregor, Germany. How long does it take to install per add-on element? That means how long does it really take to pick it up from the table and hold it and take it on? On this machine, you can easily say two minutes per add-on part. So my friends, these are the questions from the webinar. I'm happy that you attended it. Thank you very much. Let's wait for the next session. Thank you. Hi folks again, it's uh, the webinar of Zeman. Thank you very much for joining. It's the next session, which is our Terminator 760. 760 stands for the maximum width of the beams. Of course, we have other machines being able to process 100, uh, 1,100 millimeter beams, even up to 1,500. But this one is designed for 760 millimeter. So the purpose of the line, easy to explain. It's a fully automated weld out. It's a game changer in the industry, in the welding landscape of many of our clients. May I describe you a little bit the machine here? The footprint is like 25 meter in length, seven meter in width, and we have a height of uh, 4.5 meter, which is an easy fit for medium and small size fabricators. The good thing here is we are welding out pre-assembled beams. That means pre-assembled either manually, but ideally, of course, on such a big machine, which is the SBA Conti Plus, or on the SR Compact, what you have seen in the recent sessions, in the previous sessions. This machine is welding out on the basis of the same welding parameters and assembly parameters, what we have already automatically generated in our ProFit software. So, when you use a welder and you have an assembly line from Zeman, you can use the same software system. There is no reprogramming, you simply use the data. What we already generated for the assembly can be used on uh, the welding cell. Purpose of the line, easy, you can increase your production, reduce the number of most vulnerable welders. There is a big lack of welders, well experienced welders this time, so that is a good uh, solution, let's say, for the industry. You can see the new uh, welding cell. What we are using is the TPSI Fronius welding cell. And it, uh, it's 20% faster than our usual uh, welding cells, what we installed in the past. You see that we put, uh, we put these beams on flippers so we can automatically turn them always in 90 degrees to achieve the best position for weld out. Welding seam starts from A4 to A15, so it goes up to uh, 10 layers, 10, 10 welding seams with a perfect quality. So let me recapture. It's an increase in uh, production. It's a reduction of your welders, of course. You achieve a beautiful welding quality. You might have no problem sending out the material at site. And it's a beautiful combination with assembly and weld out. So there are again some questions which have been asked from uh, many people in the world. Uh, may I just refer to this question from Logan uh, from Canada. So what are the advantages of the machine compared to manual welding? Of course it's a consistent welding quality and it's a far longer arc on time. So that means usually we say 25% of the time of the working hours is the real welding time of a manual welder. But on this beauty here, you can run 65% of its capacity of the working time is the arc on time. Just imagine you have a welding pack here of 250 kilos. And usually a manual welder has a roll of maximum 10 to 20 kilos of solid welding wire. 
Here you use 250, so that means there is no consistent exchange of the welding drum. Let me go back to the next question. There is Michael from Australia. I think I know this guy. How can the beams be conveyed in? Of course, in that case, we only can crane them in and crane them out, but in some cases you approach the line by forklift, put the beam in and take the, uh, the beam out by stretching into the, with the forks and uh, take the beam out by forklift. Next question from Ross Scotland. What happens if a part is not in the right position? As long as this part has been assembled in the right direction, in the right tolerance, ideally done on our assembly line, because here you can be sure that there is a 100% correct position, which we take from Tecla SDS2, S1 steel, any common uh, structural steel software. But if it's out of the tolerance because it has been fit manually, then there is a certain space where we can automatically adjust the welding torch and this space is approximately plus minus 50 mil. So it's out of these 50 mil, it doesn't work at all. Next question from uh, Julien France. What size of welds can be produced? As I said, it's A4 to A15. That means we can do multi-pass layers up to 10 layers on this machine. Let me add finally one thing. If you order this machine at the very beginning with an open tunnel, similar to the SR Compact, that means the welding tower is open and it's already designed for a future extension into an SR Compact. So that means even the welding cell can be extended in the future to an assembly and welding line. So this gives you the highest flexibility. Start small, start with a welding cell, but in the future, extend it by, uh, with uh, a manipulation robot for picking up the parts, add on, tech welding and finish welding. Thank you very much. This was our Terminator 760. Okay, hi folks again. Welcome to the webinar next session. This is our SBA Conti Plus our biggest machine, luxury machine, the power horse of uh, Zeman company. So what you see here is a machine having two uh, welding robots and uh, this machine is designed for 18 meter long beams. We have a cross conveyor fully automatically aligning the beams parallel for the infeed and then we have the assembly and the welding station and the unloading station which makes the Conti Plus. Besides uh, the mechanical and the electrical part of this machine, the heart and the brain of our machines is for sure the software. And we are always innovating new features, new add-ons, new updates. And one of the best we have done in the past, actually recently, is the Synchro 2. And now let's climb up to the roof and have a beautiful look down on this amazing feature. It cuts off 30% in time, simultaneous fitting, and well done. So please go up with me and have a good glance on this beautiful innovation. Thank you.
dear business partners and friends, I uh, hope you had a good glance of uh, our automation, especially in these days, it uh, shows you uh, how we protect the people, how you are more productive, uh, how you can uh, decrease your costs, increase the efficiency. Um, it was really a pleasure for me to guide you through this webinar. I hope to see you next time as well. Come with us on the way to the future and discover the limits.